What is up guys? This is Kevin here from Fashion Forward. Always, I'm here. John Elliott released his new Fall Winter 17, I believe, lookbook. And we're gonna check it out. So the lookbook is titled Stretch the Floor. And from just purely just the first looks of it, what I'm just looking at, um, it looks very like high school based. Oddly, like sort of sportswear, sports gear based. So these are gonna be like my first thoughts of them. Um, so let's get in this. So the first look immediately, I think it looks super nice. I think they coordinated like some of the pieces to go with the Vandal um, footwear that that they just released with Nike. Cause um, this very thin polyester-esque, I'm sure it's polyester or some type of nylon, um, zip up. It looks fairly reminiscent to one of the straps that came with uh, the sail color vandal. Uh, like, let me bring it out. So here is the thing that I was talking about. The yellow on this strap looks very, very reminiscent to the yellow on the zip up that was just shown. It's a very clean look. I do really like the Kate like mock neck um, hoodie. Like, I think that looks so sick with like the ribbing that's like coming down here. I think it looks super nice. So the second look, I just don't like how he's glaring at me. Okay, so it's like a little, so it's like a baby blue. It's not like a white, white type of uh, like zip up. Um, I'm not sure how the build quality would fare up because it seems like a fairly light jacket. Let's hope that the stitching is actually somewhat decent. So the second look, um, I don't know. Not feeling it too much. Um, the second shot of the second look kind of gives you a more um, deeper look. I don't really like that look. It looks too hot for California, one, which I'm assuming this is was shot somewhere in California because it looks hot as fuck. I'm not a big fan of denim jackets. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you guys. I'm not like a hundred percent like down for like denim jackets. I've just never really liked them. They just felt bulky. They just felt uncomfortable. This guy just looks like a very sophisticated like like indie guy. Like he's like, oh man, I I curate my own music on my SoundCloud. Just just give me a follow. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the second look. The third look looks a lot better. Okay, I guess John Elliott is hopping onto um, the belt game. I guess with I forgot. Did he make belts? I I can't remember, but I do like the knit uh, sweater. I do think the knit sweater is very nice with the exaggerated drop shoulder. If you can even call it that, the shoulder is already like halfway down the freaking bicep. I do like the colors used and I do like the set that they used. It looks like a university library or some prestigious like Harvard. It looks like Harvard and this dude's just like... What up, boys? I do like the styling of this. Um, I really do. I think the the top color very, like it, it nicely complements the rest, while not being like too similar, not being like a grayscale. Like if they had like this sweater in like black or white on it, it would just look too plain. I think the top color is very nice. The next look, it looks okay. Um, this dude, I don't know. For some reason, I'm. I feel like maybe it's the model or something, but like he looks like. It looks like they were trying to go for a skater kid, but that skater kid's in trouble with his rich dad. And like, he's just like, oh, fuck, I fucking hate my dad. Oh. But I do like the varsity jacket. It reminds me a little bit too much of the Saint Laurent, like Teddy jacket. Maybe I'll have to see closer pics or in person. The sweater looks interesting though. I'm not sure what type of material the sweater's made out of, but I see that there's like a red line accenting it. I think that's a lot nicer than just having like a plain ass like cashmere or sweater or something. Not a fan of this look. Not a fan at all. Why does he have a scarf? Why does he have sweatpants with really high socks? And he has a shirt. And he has a... Yeah, like he has like a shirt rolled up and he has a t-shirt underneath. I don't... I don't get it. Uh, maybe this was supposed to highlight the scarf? Which the scarf itself, it looks nice, but... I don't get this fit. Okay, so him standing up, it looks a little bit better with him standing up, but still, it just looks weird. Like, I feel like it'll, maybe like some black jeans would have worked perfectly, or maybe, I don't know, some, maybe even white jeans or something. It just, I don't, that, eh, mm. I like those pants. They're like drawstring pants, but they're slightly cropped. And it doesn't look like a total black. It looks almost like a brown, 
type of like it looks like it has brown and like red mixed in it I do like the hoodie it's not the mock neck, but I do like the mustard color in it. I think the styling in this one's kind of nice. I'm kind of interested in what the backpack would be because maybe John Elliott is going to make a messenger bag. That'd be cool. The next fit. Uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't like it. One, the jeans are sort of ill-fitting. And just the hem at the bottom just looks a bit odd with high tops, it's just my opinion. If they were gonna go for this hem, then I probably would've gone for like low tops instead of like the mids, like the vandal mids. I'm completely fine with like the red, like knit sweater. Uh, I don't really know why they have a shirt tied around his waist when he's wearing a sweater. I'm interested in what the coat looks like. Okay, here's the picture with two fits in them. The guy in the back, you can see the coat on it. The coat looks sick. I just, it looks weird when he has the shirt tied around. Because I feel like it would have looked better when the shirt is not tied around and he just has the coat on with the red sweater underneath. I think that'll look cool. And the second guy, see I was right. So I pulled this out just in case. So they are sort of, I think this zip up polyester hoodie or this like zip up is going to be matching with the vandals. Because the straps that came with it, there's like the light colored like baby blue one with like a yellow accent and then they have this dark almost black or navy one with this light blue accent on the zip i think that'll be look like i think that uh, that's kind of cool it's like a blue riri zip that's actually really nice okay like i didn't notice like i completely forgot that it's like blue riri hardware i think that's a cool piece and then this guy has a denim jacket underneath this kind of makes me wonder whether or not this is going to be like water repellent or if this is gonna have like some sort of substantial weather repelling coating or something like that. Cause like I always see this zip up over something else. So maybe it does, maybe not, I'm not too sure. So he has the distressed denim jacket. He has a gray, I think Mercer tee, I'm not too sure. And he has, I think the same bottoms as before where it's like a light brown, almost reddish. Uh, cropped drawstring bottom. There's just another pick with him looking weird. Oh, okay So then like the bottom of the zip up has these two lines where you can tighten it up I think that's kind of cool. Okay, the next one. I do dig the jacket. I do dig the jacket It's it's a bit more of a sophisticated look in my opinion uh, The cream, you know the turtleneck looks cool looks fine. This would be a very smart outfit probably maybe some uh, Black cropped trousers would look cool, but like with, like him, like he looks fine with um, with the white jeans, and I'm assuming that he has like Oxfords or something like that, some fancy dress shoe on. So here's the next guy. He has a leather biker jacket on, and he has that shirt that the other guy had tied around his waist. I think it's a cool pattern. I personally am not a fan of leather uh, biker jackets, just biker jackets in general. I just don't think they look good on me, so I just don't buy them. I mean, if, if it looks sick on you. This guy, like this whole outfit just reminds me of like YSL. Except like not like super slim fitting like YSL. Like maybe the pants super slim fitting, but like everything else like the top. It looks very nice. And the next guy, it is a half zip with a denim jacket, white jeans, and white Air Force Ones. It's a clean look. I, I, I like it. Like I like the orange like reddish accent on the half zip. And I like the contrast and just like the white, the orange, and the blue. I think that's a very clean fit. And here's this guy again with the coat on. The coat looks nice, hella nice, in the charcoal gray. I like the jeans, they're stacking very nicely. I like the top, like the hoodie. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of uh, that plaid. That plaid reminds me of like a dad a dad's shirt or something like that, especially when it's like only half buttoned up. It makes it look like he has like a belly or something. I'm not a big fan. So the next one, it just looks like casual wear. There's nothing really much to it. Um, the sweatpants look comfortable. Uh, this dude looks comfortable. He looks like he's eyeing me down like we're about to like fucking play basketball and like this is like high school musical or some shit. Next one, he has the red sweater on again, black bottoms, black Oxford looking shoes and the leather jacket sort of draping off of him. Looks okay, looks okay. Um, I personally wouldn't wear this fit, not my favorite. Next one, I do like, I do like, oh. So the cardigan's nice, I like the cardigan. I like the tee. 
I like the tea, but it reminds me of something Uniqlo has made. I'm not too sure. It reminds me of something Uniqlo can make, maybe. But I remember seeing something like this at Uniqlo, so maybe, eh, but I do like the neck on it. I like the wash of the denim, and I like the shoes, so this is a clean fit. The cardigan looks almost purple. Like, I'm not sure whether or not it's how they edited it, but it looks like a very, like, it looks like a plum, and I, I can get down with plum. That bomber might be my favorite piece. Everything else in the fit looks okay, but I think that bomber, just that bomber is like, Bon Apple Tea! And there's this guy, except the hoodie, or not the hoodie, the zip up is now reversed, or not reversed, it's yellow and then I guess a white zip. I guess these are the alternate colors of it. Uh, the sweatpants look plum again. Looks like he has like a half zip, but I can't really see too much of it. And I think he's wearing Vapor Maxes. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Vapor Maxes, it just looks a bit too odd. I like this fit, I like this fit. I would have gone for different footwear. I, yeah, I probably would have gone for different footwear, but I do like everything else. I like the cardigan, I like the t-shirt, how it drapes off of him, and I do like the crop distressed washed uh, denim. I think they look cool, in this outfit at least. Everything just looks proportional. There's this guy, he has, damn, what? So many denim jackets, damn. So he has a, you know, the same coat, a denim zip-up jacket, I'm assuming a Mercer tee, or not Mercer tee, I'm assuming um, maybe a villain hoodie, uh, there's like gray wash, gray wash denim, it's, it's sort of a boring fit, I'm not a huge fan. And then there's this guy again, uh, the, the scarf definitely reminds me of like Raph Simmons, for some reason it reminds me of Raph Simmons, like how, like, I think his previous collection or like his collections prior um, focused on like schoolboy attire and this just looks like schoolboy attire, especially uh, the scarf. The crew neck looks okay. I'm not too fan of like the ribbing on both the arms and uh, the neck. I'm not a big fan. And that was it. That was John Elliott's uh, Fall Winter 17 lookbook for Stretch the Floor. Uh, if you guys have any opinions, which was your favorite fit? I have to say the bomber jacket uh, fit was my favorite fit um, and I believe the first fit looked really nice with like that ice blue like polyester uh, zip up with like those vandals and the white jeans that looked really nice especially with the Cape Mock um, hoodie that was super nice another one that I liked was the top the top uh, knit sweater with a gray t-shirt and then the red belt sticking out with gray jeans I think that looked really sick and those were like around my favorite pieces or my favorite looks, I guess. So let me know what you guys think about John Elliott's Fall Winter 17. I, I'd like to start a conversation with you guys. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.